What is going on everybody? Welcome back to My Time Films and Project Integra. In today's video, we're going to be painting the car. This is episode 15, the moment you've all been waiting for. I finally painted the car. So I'm going to need you guys to click the subscribe button right here. And then right below it this is my Instagram to see all the photos and you know when it happened and all that good stuff. So let's get into it. Here we go. All right, so here's all of the sheet metal pieces I'm using. Um, I already started doing them right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, yeah, I messed up there. But um, yeah, they're all in right here, here, and here. Where is it here? So I just cut out the remaining pieces for the whole entire car. 16, it's a total of 20. I did four already, so um, yeah, I'm just gonna keep going ahead here and then Hopefully when I put the Bondo and everything on, it should, you know, start to come together a little bit. And then after that, we can get to paint and sanding. All right, all the sheet metal pieces are in, except for the one right here on both sides. Um, it's, this is really hard to get to, and I don't know how to get to it. So I'm just gonna skip over this for now. But all of them are filled up, and now I'm gonna start sanding them. This is the first one. So then what I'm gonna do here is sand with this, this 80 grit block right here bondo it up and I'm gonna see how it looks if it looks good I'll move on to the next one if not I'll stop and pretty much stop for today and uh, think about what I'm gonna do from there all right here's the progress so far um, it looks messy I know but it's very smooth because I just got done sanding with 80 so um, I'm just gonna keep sanding uh, and um, yeah There. It's not really, not really um, a lot of imperfections, really. It was just a matter of filling that little gap. This is like the first one I did, and uh, it's really messy. And um, yeah, so I'm just gonna keep sanding this. This is nice and smooth, though, extremely smooth. And uh, I tried to get a little better. This one, in my opinion, was a little better. This whole, I had to skip because um, I still don't know what I'm gonna do right here. I don't wanna just put Bondo there because something bad might happen later on in the future. This one's pretty much done. I'm probably gonna hit it one more time. This one, nice and smooth, extremely smooth. This one, I can't even see where the hole is. Same thing with this one. This one too, no hole, no hole, no hole. But there is a little nipple right there from when I pulled it out because I couldn't reach it with my hand in there. So, I mean, there's a very, very small nipple. It's like black, that little black piece. So that's a very, very small thing. It'll be very hard to see. Um, so I'm probably just gonna leave that as it is. I'm not a perfectionist, but I definitely want this car to look somewhat good. This is my second time using Bondo, so yeah, we'll see how all this goes later on. So I'll keep you guys updated. All right, <clears throat> so it's been like an hour since I've actually Bondoed anything, maybe about an hour and 10 minutes, 20 minutes, and everything's po uh, Bondoed up. Um, so I really don't want to tell you guys what I had to do for the one that uh, I couldn't get to but basically I had to do the worst thing possible and pretty much just bondo it with nothing there so um, yeah I already know the consequences I already know when you get flamed for it so just yeah I <laughs> There's nothing I can do. Um, so now I'm just hoping for the best, honestly. Everything's bonded up. I'm about to sand it. Why is your car so loud? Why? Anyways, everything's bonded up. And I'm about to sand with the orbital sander. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I'm going to show the other side. I never showed you the other side yet. other side's a lot better because I figured out what to do. And how to make it look neater. So it's not as messy, but it's still pretty messy. So there's the other side. 
tried to keep it as clean as possible, but at the same time smoothed it out. Now I'm gonna show you the sides. So yeah, um, it's kinda nice. So now I'm gonna get the orbital sander and we're gonna take it all down now. Uh, guys, um, I think I just shaved my side moldings. I think I really just did this. <laughs> uh, I turned on the orbital sander and it was a big game changer for sure. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hit it maybe a couple more times and we're gonna prime this and uh, yeah, this is amazing. I can't believe I did this. Um, yeah, yeah, it looks clean. That looks, <laughs> that looks good. Um, yeah, I'm gonna turn the camera off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep going here. <laughs> and that pretty much wraps it up for the day. It is completely shaved and primed. And this is the final product. I, I am very happy about this. Um, this, this is crazy looking. That looks great from this, from this angle. Um, there's still some touch-up work to be done later on, but you know this isn't, you know, like my third, my third base coat. So we're good. We still got a lot of, a lot of sanding to do. I'm tired for the day. Uh, let's see. How long have I been out here? I started at nine this morning, and now it is. What time is it? It's 5:05 now. So how many hours is that? Uh, nine. That's eight hours. Okay, so this all took eight hours, and um, I took a break. I went to go get go get some pizza. So uh, yeah, about eight hours. Um, I would keep going, but the sun's gonna go down in about four hours, and there's no way I'm painting all this in four hours. So yeah, I'm gonna cut it off for today, and I'm gonna show you the other side, give you some close-ups. First, we're gonna start on the other side because why not? So here's the left side. I primed all that because I was sanding that earlier. I was trying to see if I could sand down that rust and it was going down, so I might continue. See if I can do that without you know cutting it out and welding in new metal. But here's the left side. I um, skipped some spaces because I was running out of primer. Get up on close on it. So you guys can get a real good angle of what it looks like. All right. Um, like I said, this was not a welding job. This is just straight sheet metal, bondo, tape, glue. You know, the cheapest route possible. Um, and uh, yeah, it looks like it worked. So I've been thinking about doing this for a long time and I just, you know, figured I'd try it out on my car and this was the end result. So I'm really happy about this. Now here's the right side. Still gotta do some work on this corner edge right here. But um, yeah. And it is smooth. And this area right here is a little tricky too. You can see it's kind of bumpy. I um, it was kind of difficult right here, so I have to resand that tomorrow. The edge, the very very corner, because I sanded it with the door closed. So I'll get that tomorrow. But everything else is awesome. I'm happy. Ow! I just fell. I'm okay. Urgh. Ow! Mm. Alright guys, back with day two. Uh, today is the official day. Um, I started sanding everything. Uh, all the dents and dings, I started sanding them. I'm about to bondo them now. Oh, I forgot one up there. 
uh, but the whole side panels, all the side panels are pretty much finished. I went ahead and re-sanded this because I saw a lot of imperfections, so I just went ahead and just went crazy. Uh, yeah. Bunch of dents. Two dents right there. But yeah, whole panel smooth. I'm really happy with how it's turning out. All right. And for the rust, um, I basically sanded back down to bare metal and um, I just bonded it to, you know, prevent it from coming back. It probably will come back eventually, but it's going to take a lot longer for me to even notice. So, yeah, that should solve a problem for a good amount of time. I dropped my bumper, that's why it's all sagging right now with that zip tie. I dropped it and it was scraping on the ground so this all got scuffed so I sanded it back down. Same thing with right here. I sanded that so we're good. There was rust starting to pop up here, I don't know if you can still see it. But um, basically I'm just going to keep sanding that until it goes back down to bare metal. And uh, I'm just going to bond to it and then we should be good. Some more dents up here. There, 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 all over there, up there. And then I basically went ahead and came back down here, started sanding any excess bonder that I saw to get it nice and smooth, just how I wanted it. And um, this section was my first ever bondo section, so I had to come back and rework this. This actually looks like the sheet metal that I put down right here, so I might have to put it just a little bit over that, but it should be okay. So, there was also a scratch down here. I don't know if you can see, still see the scratches, um, but I sanded back. I sanded this back because I wanted this to be smooth. I'm probably going to bondo this. It's a little wavy down here. If you run your hand across it, you can feel like I think this car got sideswiped at one point in time in its life. See scratches right here. So I'm probably going to just bondo this right here. Ugh. But yeah, here's the whole panel. I'm about to bondo it, and once I bondo, I'm just going to sand the whole entire thing, and I mean the whole entire thing. But yeah, here's the right side. It's looking nice. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for right now. It's still looking normal. I'm about to start sanding soon, so yeah. Not going to put it on run yet. I'm just going to do clips for you guys until I really get into the 600 sand. Or the 600 grit sanding part. Because from here, it's really kind of boring, so I'm just going to skip. So, yeah. Alright, I just bonded the whole car. Um, I'm going to wait about an hour come back, sand the bondo down, and then after I do that, I'm gonna sand everything down to six. So I'm just gonna give you a walk around, and then I will just leave the camera on for you guys, so, you know, you can see what's going on. So here we go. All right, so that's everything. Now we wait. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Project Integra. This is <clears throat> episode 15. And, uh, oh, hold on one second. Whatever. And so today I'm gonna be painting the car. Um, this is what it looks like. Uh, everything's sanded down. This is a little preview for you guys. Um, I'm not gonna be uploading tomorrow because, well, yeah, so I'm just gonna upload today. I'm probably gonna skip Friday. We'll see how everything goes out, but I have to go to work tomorrow, so yeah. So here's what the car looks like. I'm just gonna give you like a quick walk around. This battery's about to die, and uh, yeah. Not everything's sanded down, I just sanded down these spots. I still have to do the whole entire car with 600, so yeah. I'm going to take this emblem off because it's going to look tacky if I don't I have to cut this. And, uh, yeah. You can kind of see where I sanded, too. It's kind of weird.
Everything's masked off and ready to go. I am ready for this. I've been waiting so long to do this and we're about to do it. So here we go. All right guys, this is it sanding down to 600. I still gotta take that emblem off. I'm covered in sanding dust. Look at all that crap. I'm working on I'm working on this side right now. Alright, I hope you guys can hear me alright. Um, so, here we go. I want to show you the car so far. Um, my PSI settings are at around 45. And that's just because I have a long, a long um, thing to trail through. The, the cord, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Here's the progress. 
I basically shoot. I only have about a 10 to 20 second window to shoot all my paint before the paint runs out. So this is kind of what it looks like. This is just fresh, like 30 seconds ago. So it's coming out nice. People don't really tell you this, but um, Rust-Oleum Gloss White, the single stage type, you know, the one you get from Home Depot, uh, it comes out like a mirror, like a mirror when you first lay it down, depending on how close you are and what your PSI settings are. And then when it comes close to drying, it looks kind of like a glossy plastic. So that's the kind of like a downfall. This is day three of the car. It's all done. I'm just waiting for it to dry. I'm okay with it um, so far. It's in the shadows, so I, I don't know exactly what it looks like in direct sunlight. So that's a surprise on its own. But if everything checks out, then I'd say this was a successful job. Um, about a couple runs, maybe seven, eight runs. Really hard to see, so I'll, I'll work on that later. But I'm just gonna give you guys a walk around real quick. Yep, I can see it now, the welt, right there. So I don't know how I'm going to fix that, but I have to fix it somehow because it looks tacky. Now we wait four to five hours and we're gonna see what it looks like.